Ooh, I can put you battle between Saladin and Caliph against Red Sult, um, Marshall and Snake, and against Pig and Leonard. And it's on an unbalanced map. Alright, so here's Saladin and the Caliph. Here's Pig and Leonard. And here's the Red, the Snake, Sultan and the Mother. Okay, ready. I pick from the Sultan. Even though Vasaladin is here the strongest lord, in this position he does not have a good access to resources. So this might be a disadvantage for him. Okay, now Saladin goes for the attack. Yeah, I also feel that the wet might not survive very long. Okay, okay, again, already next to the attack. Yeah, if Saladin should run out of gold before he defeats the Marshal, I think this might be a problem. And mainly because of the lack of resources, yes. Okay, that from Caliph and from Leonard. Leinhardt. Uh, no, from Pick. Sorry, from Pick at the same time. Also, Caliph's castle is open right now. A lot of catapults are shooting at Caliph's castle from the Pick. And a liner attack against the red, and I think this will be pretty dangerous for the red because red right now looks relatively weak. Also, the knights are attacking Saladin's buildings. Okay, and Leonard is in red's castle. So let's see if red will. So F is. I think that's the is now. Probably. Yeah, red defended line deck. I don't know, like Sultan seems in this game really strong. Okay, now so Saladin goes now for his next attack. Okay, Saladin is the only one who completely ran out of gold at this point. So yeah, until he attacks again, it might take some time now for Saladin. And I don't see that, I mean, Marshall will survive this attack here, definitely. Okay. Attack from the red. Against Leonard. Leonard. Okay, I guess the next attack will be by the pig. Okay, here they already attacks. Yeah, Caliph's fire defense is pretty strong. Okay, and uh, Pick is in the castle. But I think Caliph defends this attack here. But actually, Pick came pretty close here. Okay, well, already next Sultan attack, and yeah, Saladin right now gets a lot of pressure here. Yeah. And yeah, as I said, he 
doesn't have any gold reserves left. Left. So yeah, I don't know if Saladin will recover from this. Also, yeah, okay. Also, like, Marshall will attack soon. Okay, let's see, Snack with over 300 troops. Okay, and there's a line up attack going against the red. But yeah, we're definitely so we have this, this attack. Saving. Okay, and the next martial attack against Saladin. And the castle is still open. So Marshall can just walk into Saladin's castle. And fight after this, the next two deck is coming. I don't know why Sultan in this game is just so insanely strong. Okay, but most of the troops died in the fire here. Can Leonard still hasn't managed to defeat the Red. And now like most lords ran out of gold. Okay, both Snake and Red are attacking. Okay, kill him with over 300 troops. And he attacks. Yeah, the crossbow man from this pick are just very overpowered against Arabic swordmen. Okay, actually Leonard is the greatest lord, which he doesn't really seem to be, to be honest. Okay, yeah, Saladin is definitely not recovering. And I guess the next sultan attack will defeat him. Leonard has still, still doesn't rebuild his castle. But I guess the next Leonard attack can be dangerous for the Red. Also, Red has no money and like almost no troops. Okay, and Leonard attacks. And I guess I guess this will be over for the Red. And you also think this will be over for Saladin here. I think if Saladin had no access to resources, I mean, he would most likely dominate Sultan and Marshal. But that's why I played this game on an unbalanced map to make it more unpredictable. 
armies are victorious once more. Okay, another question. Like, who is Marshal and Susan attacking next? Let's see where's the most troops. Uh, okay, it's Keller. Okay, and then I told the text. Uh, the snake. And also attack from the Caliph. Okay, yeah, the crossbowmen just def defeat most of Caliph's troops. Okay, let's see how Snake will handle Leonard's attack. Actually, pretty well. Okay, I guess the next in line will be Sultan to attack. I also know like Snake's economy is suffering. I mean he also doesn't have good access to resources. Like pretty like very bad access in this position here. Also he has like no popularity. Almost no food. Yeah, I would say Snake. But also not so worth for long now. Okay, let's see then who has the most troops, if the Sultan or Caliph might attack next. And yeah, no, nobody has gold reserves. I guess the next line, line that attack will pro probably defeat this, this knight. Okay, and so then attacks. And I guess he attacks either pick or line up. It seems that it's what I'm the back here. And yeah, the problem again, like the Caliph, that the Arabic swordmen just die pretty quickly from the crossbowmen. Okay, the next Caliph attack will come soon against the pig, which is here. Yeah, snake does not seem to does not seem to recover at all. Also, pick has like negative popularity or low popularity. Yeah, I think Leonard should defeat snake soon so he can help the pick because right now pick is getting targeted by uh, Caliph, Marshal, and Sultan. Yeah, I guess the next muscle attack might also come at some point. But yeah, probably next will be again cut off. Yeah, cut off just looks very strong here. Yeah. Over 300 troops. Okay, and could have FedEx. Okay, he's in the castle. 
But yes, again, it's again like okay. Now he catched fire. Okay, the fire might be now might not be a problem, but he got it under control. Okay, now he destroyed his own economic buildings for no reason at all. Well, yeah. I guess Lana will attack soon and defeat the snake. So let's see. Okay, Lana. Okay, no Marshall attacks. Finally. And he and yeah, he also chooses to attack the pig. So Lana should really hurry to help like the pig here. I was not sure how long the pig will survive against all these attacks. Now they are European swordmen, so they will not die that quickly from the crossbowman. And also the castle is open. Okay, now it's closed again. Okay, yeah, Kedaf will soon attack, attack again. And Nana is still waiting, not sure why. So Sultan doesn't look that strong anymore as in the beginning. Yeah, no, so the pack has no nutrition anymore and zero popularity. Okay, finally, Lion Knight attacks. Actually, attacks with a pretty big army, and I think he will defeat now the snake. Yeah, this seems like a huge amount. Okay, that looks dangerous for the pit here. The the okay, but you know, uh, the pick is the worst. Saving. Okay, I guess the next in line to attack will be Lana. Okay, Lana with over 300 troops and Kalev with almost 300. And also Sultan again with over 200. So we will also see an attack from the Sultan at some point soon. And let's see who Lana will attack next. Will they take Marshall or will they attack uh, the Kalev? Okay, and then that attacks the cut off. Let's see how cut off will handle Lionel's attack here. Of course, the fire defense will be a huge help, I think, in defending the attack.
Yeah, most of the troops already died in the fire here. And after the take Caliph still has all, almost 300 troops left. Yeah, we're now in Sultan and Marshal will attack. Okay, so they're now almost 300 and Marshal approaches the 200, 200 mark. Kind of, uh, picks kind of seems to be recovering here, to be honest. Also, to be honest, Lanha doesn't seem that strong. Right? Okay, and finally, we have an attack from Sultan. Okay, and Marshall is also coming now. And I think this might be dangerous for the pick. Not just my, this will be definitely dangerous for the pick. And also the pick's castle is still open here. So, let's see. Okay, this will be definitely over now. Okay. A message from the marshal. One more bites the dust, eh? What? <laughs> okay, let's see if now Kata will attack Lennart or will he attack uh, the marshal here next? We can have 400 troops. I mean, this is a huge number. And he attacks Leonard. Okay, Leonard defended the attack. And yeah, now the question is like if. Like, who is Marshall and Sultan attacking? But yeah, I guess it will still take some time for the next attack to happen, so I will make a cut now. Caliph attack. Okay, and over the fire is breaking out. I think Lanard will survive this attack, but like to recover from this will be very difficult, I think. Oh, okay, Caliph is in the castle. Okay, let's see. I think Marshall should attack next and also Sultan. 
And yeah, Leinhardt has almost no chance to recover. Also because of Marshall's knights who are targeting his economy. So let's see, I mean either Sultan or Marshall will attack next. And then it will be like Sultan and Marshall against uh, the Caliph. And this could be also interesting. Oh, okay, yeah, Marshall is coming. The moment of Swordman here. Yeah, I doubt that Leonard will survive this. Okay, he's already in the castle. Alright, yeah, this is over for Leonard. Okay, so was also about to attack, so I guess now both will attack the Caliph. Also, Caliph looks pretty strong, so he might also attack soon. And now the Knights will target Caliph's economic buildings. I mean, I guess they will both attack now at any moment. Okay, Caliph with al almost 400 troops. Which is definitely a lot. And also no one has any gold reserves left. But yeah, in the long term, if this, if these economic buildings should always get destroyed, I mean... Caliph will have a problem. While like... Marshall's and Sultan's economy is intact, I would say. Okay, of course Sultan's economy is not strong, but... Marshall has some economic buildings. I wonder why Marshall doesn't have any stone here. I mean, it would be free resources for Marshall to just get some stone. But okay. Let's have a look at the trooper mount. Okay, Sultan 350, Caliph over 400. Yeah, at any moment now, the next attack will come. And of course, for Caliph, the advantage is uh, the fire. Okay, and now both Sultan and Marshal are attacking at the same time. So let's see how this attack will go. Also these towers here look pretty weak, maybe they can get in the castle in one of these towers. So now the question is how good will the fire defense be? Okay, they're already in the, in the castle. Okay, the fire is just insane here. Yeah, yeah Kedav will definitely survive, but... Let's see how much troops he lost in this attack. And of course now his economy is just much, much worse. So the knights are now in Kellis Castle. I mean, this attack was a pretty big success in general to like weaken the Kellis in every regard. The Kellis had before over 400 troops and now only 278 and he has zero gold. And his economy is much, much worse. And I mean, the knights are just constantly attacking or targeting him. So yeah, also like. His buildings in the castle are for a big part destroyed. So let's see, I guess I will make now another cut to the next deck and let's see what will happen. And yeah, the knights are just doing a great job with destroying the economy. Okay, see you at the next deck. Oh, 
Okay, the next mass attack, and as you see, like, Kaleth's economy did not recover. Mainly because, I think, of the knights. So yeah, I don't think Kaleth now has any good chances. Not, not anymore. So let's see if he will survive Marshall's attack, and... I guess maybe Sultan will also attack soon. I think he survives because many of the fire defense he has. Yeah, I guess we'll make another cut. Oh, okay, next Sultan attack. So let's see if the fire will save the cadaver here again. Yeah, where did a lot of Arabic swordmen die in the fire? Okay, Caliph has to fight and he's OS. Okay. Maybe Marshall's attacks will finish Caliph. Yeah, I think we can wait because it should come now very soon. Okay, next Martian attack. A message from the marshal. One more bites the dusty wart! Ha! 